Hi JJ. I hear you got caught in some drama. Well, here's Elder Mitch here to uh, cover this story and to see where you went wrong. But first, I need to hear what went on. So let's just bring in Mr. Dick Coughlin. Hi folks, Dick Coughlin here. How are you? I'm uh, here at my new place. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, as you can see, it's got walls and curtains. So living the high life now. This is a video I unfortunately did not want to make. Um, and the reason I don't want to make it is uh, the, the reason I've had to. The reason I've had to make it is because of a certain person who's going to be the subject of this video, which you'll be able to see from there, who doesn't seem to be able to learn to keep her fucking trap shut. Well, <laughs> you stirred the hornet's nest. Hello everyone, this is Chammy Man Nighty. Ugh, damn it, I can't see a thing in this. Ah, I just woke up, I just took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this morning, I volunteered at a run for deaf children um, for four or five hours, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, good for you. That's not relevant. That's not what we're here to talk about. So don't mind if I just skip your long-winded uh, intro and we can get to the point, JJ, before Dick comes back in, of course. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, use some kind of sexual pun, but he is called Richard, so... Maybe I should just call you Richard Dick, if that's okay. But during that time, while I was out, you know, having a life... You have a life? I didn't know 19-year-olds had lives. I just, especially social justice warriors who are 19. I assume you all sit around in your house all day, worrying about the patriarchy. I got a lot of messages, apparently, about Dick Coughlin or something. I'm not really even sure. Um, so you're starting beef with him from getting messages that you're not even sure are about Dick Coughlin. I smell something. I'm sure it's just B.O., but, you know, I swear, it's a very familiar smell. Hmm. Someone was like, uh, you know Coughlin made a Facebook post and tweets and a video, and I don't know if the video, per se, was about this situation, but, um... Some of the tweets were, and he was being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nearly called him a dick. I know what you did there. Let me just explain to you why I give no fucks about Coughlin's existence. Okay, um... If you don't care about him so much, why are you making a video about him? Oh, now, JJ, JJ, I'ma let you finish. But, Dick Coughlin's been waiting for a while now, and I think he wants to have his say, so we'll just... Uh, have you be quiet for a little bit? I know, I know, we should always let the woman speak, but I am the mediator here, so in my professional opinion as a scientist, as told to me by Boiled Ape, uh, we have to basically have a Dick Coughlin say here, so just wait for a bit, just wait for a bit, it'll be okay, don't worry about it. And, and unfortunately, the reason I didn't want to make it is because this person has been involved in drama within this uh, within the community in the, earlier this year, in which she made this video about sexual harassment on YouTube, and it was a video that was mirrored by a lot of people. And unfortunately, what I'm going to share with you now is going to call a lot of stuff in that video into question because it's going to show that this girl clearly has a uh, very very bizarre you know, perceptions when she reads into what people say. She's in the room. You might as well just use her real name. Just call her JJ. JJ Talks. Coughlin. But, you know, okay, that's fine. So, we are talking about the sequester zone versus JJ Talks and all the other social justice warriors. That rift that happened only a couple of months ago where she 
said that she was being sexually harassed on the internet, didn't provide any evidence whatsoever, and the video, as you said before, before I rudely interrupted you, and I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry, uh, they, people mirrored the video, people speculated on who it was, and for some reason it just so happened to be Sequestazone, who was the main suspect. And he was harassed a lot, he tried to defend himself, and people just said, Ah, you must be guilty for defending yourself against these accusations. That is, of course, the mantra. A man who defends himself is automatically guilty. And a man who doesn't defend himself is automatically guilty but slightly more innocent, but still guilty, and he should be put in jail, or handed off the internet. It later turned out that, thanks to uh, Jenny McDermott, her mortal enemy, the mortal enemy of JJ Talks, Jenny McDermott, uh, she leaked the name of this person that JJ refused to disclose, that he was the one who had done it, and this guy was called Abaddon 5. It was not Sequester Zone. It was Abaddon 5. Apparently, it could be wrong, but that's what I heard. And we you know what's weird, Coughlin? I know I'm supposed to be the neutral party here, but it sounds very similar to what you're going through right now, only she's being a bit more open. She's kind of maybe learned a lesson. But carry on for a little while longer. Um, the girl is JJ Talks. Thank you, Coughlin. Just when we thought we were going to lose all the pleasantries, you use her name. Thank you. Now no one's confused at home. Now I've had no issue with JJ Talks. In fact, I've had no interaction with her ever. Oh really? Do go on Coughlin. Uh, this is quite interesting. JJ, you will have your talk soon. You will have your chance. So take it away Richard. I want to make this clear from now on. I have never exchanged messages uh, you know, I've never had a Skype conversation. I've never been in the same Skype group as her. I've never, I've never shared. I've never. I may have, maybe, maybe a retweet. I may. I don't think I've even commented on one of her videos. Right. Um, I think a couple. I think a couple of months ago. Yeah, the Nicole Arbor video that I made. I linked one of her videos. Right. But that's it. So wherever this is come. So th this is where this is coming from. This is someone who's had. No interaction with me, um, and is basing uh, has made two accusations towards me, um, based on something that I've not only said on Facebook, but I've said on. Uh, on hmm. So apart from some small scale contact, which really is barely any contact whatsoever, you haven't. You don't really know her. You don't talk to her. You don't. You know, like her DMs. You might, I mean, tweets. I mean, you might tweet her, retweet her every now and then, and share a video that you've seen and liked. But you don't know each other, so you don't know where it's come from, other than these Facebook posts and other stuff that you've done. Now, this seems to have come completely out of the blue, exactly like how it came completely out of the blue for Sequester Zone. JJ, what have you got to say about this? I have been sent some pretty nasty tweets and comments on YouTube from people that are obsessed with Coughlin and who think Coughlin's the coolest feminist ever, including Beach. Um, um, so you have been sent horrible messages on the internet by people who you think because there's no way of knowing if they are because you've not present, presented any evidence. Not at all. There's no evidence here of whether or not they are Dick Coughlin fans. And I don't know who this Beach is. Or Peach. I don't really know what you said there. I don't know who this person is. So, you're claiming that some of his fans have been attacking you. But, no evidence. Strange. But, do go on. And... I just think it's fucked that YouTube feminism has become a community for men to sexually harass women and get called good feminists for it. Ooh, that's a bit sexist, isn't it? Claiming that feminism is now for men to sexually harass women and somehow 
be declared good feminists. Isn't that weird? But, you know, you do defend your own. You are right. You people have defended paedophiles. You've defended people like Hannibal the Victor. You've defended all sorts of horrible people who have harassed people online, sexually or not, because they happen to not be feminists. But I think what you're complaining about is that they're attacking their own rather than other people, you know, you don't give a shit about us, you know, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm, I'm supposed to be neutral. The problem is, there's still no evidence of all this. This is just an assertion. This is just you uh, basing everything on your feelings and some kind of innate sexist attitude towards men, but we'll give you a further chance to elaborate, JJ, before I, I bring back Richard. Um, I'm kind of tired of it, and now I'm, I don't like the idea that someone should have to disassociate from a group completely because there are some bad people in it, and the reason I call myself a feminist is because I want to show people what the word means to me, what the word means to people that I go to university with, and the, uh, the gender equality that we seek, and the beliefs of the majority of feminists that I know. I want to take that word and use it um, and reclaim it in a sense, I suppose, and show people that, hey, to me, feminism means just destroying the patriarchy, say the patriarchy, say the patriarchy, say the patriarchy, say the patriarchy, get me a, uh, 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 carry on, sorry, we, you, you kind of stumbled in your words there, JJ. Don't worry, I'll let you continue, sorry to cut you off mid-sentence. Um, concepts such as just especially expectations of men, men and women, I suppose. Okay, and this has to do with Dick Coughlin because? So, uh, men shouldn't be expected to be aggressive or physically stronger or violent or shouldn't be expected to take care of the family financially. And JJ, we, we could go on about why you want to be a feminist, blah, 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 but this isn't why we're here. Can you please stay on topic? I could totally go into all these things, but this is off topic. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to skip here. I'm like completely disassociating myself with YouTube feminism. You know why? Because the couple of females that are still in the YouTube feminist community, um, well, one of them intentionally tried to make the guy who sexually harassed me angry at me, even though he lives fairly close to me, and so um, I really wouldn't consider her a feminist because she exploits victims of sexual harassment or exploits women in general for her own personal gain because, uh, she's a bitch. You're no true Scotsman in this person, but can you please get back on topic? I'm gonna have to skip you again. And yes, as a feminist, I think it's fine to use the word bitch if someone's a bitch. Um, and she just, like, has this thing where she wants to be famous, I guess, and she's expressed that to me, and she's expressed that she likes drama, so whatever, she's not a feminist because the well-being of anyone, especially in regard to gender issues, does not come first to her unless it's convenient or will make someone angry that she wants to make angry. I was about to skip, but then I just realized after what has happened recently, that you're talking about Jenny, aren't you? You're talking about McDermott. Perhaps the no true Scotsman might not apply, but I think it does, because she's still a feminist. She still believes in this claptrap, even if she is after all the drama. It is a million dollar business, JJ, whether you like it or not. And then you have Coughlin. Ah, finally, we're back on topic, JJ. And I just had someone tell me, like, oh, Coughlin's such a great feminist. I'm getting, like, tweets from, like, five different YouTube male feminists. Well, JJ, don't you think it's strangely convenient that these guys are male? I mean, you don't tell me who they are. You, you, I don't even know if they're YouTubers, or if they're even human, or if they're even male. You seem to have something 
really against men. I don't know why. We've done nothing wrong. Don't you want to set us free? Like, you, you talk about us as if we're garbage. Who are like, Coughlin is the best feminist ever. When I made my sexual harassment video, let me explain to you the reasons why I don't like Coughlin. When I made my sexual harassment video, the video was not about Coughlin in regards to me. Coughlin has never sexually harassed me. He's never messaged me in private, so I'm not saying that he has. I want to get that clear. He's never sexually harassed me. Um, Shiver me timbers after all that bullshit. You finally clarify that you have never talked to each other. And he hasn't sexually harassed you, so... Why are you accusing him of allowing it to happen, of like being pro-sexual harassment? It, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, JJ. I mean, you don't have to like him. Nobody has to like each other. We shouldn't be forced to, but at the same time, it seems like you've got an agenda. You've got something against him and other people, and it seems like you're just, you know, looking for trouble. Like he says, it seems like you can't keep your mouth shut, but he has been waiting long enough. Richard take the floor yeah now i'm gonna link you can go to my twitter and my i'm not gonna link her stuff here because i don't want anyone to sit there and say that i was sending my fanboys out to harass her and blah 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 bollock she's she's opened her mouth i'm responding this is it All right so well, she claimed that your fanboys are trying to harass her for some reason but you've claimed that you're not trying to send them to attack you, her Hmm, I'm getting a lot of mixed messages here. Not from you, but just what, the narrative. It, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense from JJ's perspective. She doesn't like you, but at the same time, you've not really done anything wrong per se. It's more what you said, right? Come on, continue. The, uh, someone linked me a few nights ago to a tweet that she sent out. And in this tweet... She said, someone said that someone mentioned reference to video I've made, you know, about people who like, you know, come on here. Uh, the video, the video I made, it was mentioned was one that I made uh, called There's No Justice, Just Us. Right. And in that video, and it's ironic because that's the video uh, that uh, where which the Facebook comments, which she's about to reference came from. Um, she said that uh, so they, they sort of mentioned it to her saying, well, if people quit. You know, if people come on here for a, for a cause, but they quit because people bother them or they get a lot of um, hassle, then maybe they didn't care that much about the cause in the first place. That's a position I've taken. I stand by that. Uh, JJ Talks responded saying, yeah, well, Coughlin also thinks sexual harassment is OK. So that was what she said. Ah, so she has accused you of saying that it's OK to sexually harass people uh, by a video where you basically say that if you can't handle uh, the pressure, if you can't handle mean words on the internet, if you can't handle the ponage, you should get the fuck out. I mean, to be honest, you've not had a great record yourself when you've had your YouTube dramas in the past with the likes of The Amazing Atheist, but whatever, you know, I'm not here to judge you, I'm here to judge the drama and who's done wrong and who's done right. Well. Hmm, I say that. <laughs> I'm only joking. But this is an interesting turn of events. Please continue, Dick. Uh, she said, well, Coughlin thinks sexual harassment is okay. Now, you would think, wouldn't you, that given the amount of people who have it in for me, and just given the sort of audience I have in general, that if I was to say something that would in any way made sexual harassment you know was was a, was a negation of sexual harassment was to state that it was okay you'd think someone else would have picked up on this but no no only jj talks the perceptive mind that she is was able to notice this thing this i noticed this i shared this out and went oh look at this isn't this funny another Another complete. So, from the in the last few months, I've gone from someone who sexually harasses underage girls and the mentally handicapped to someone who just sends unsolicited dick pics to someone who just says sexual harassment is okay. You know, when the level when the accusations decrease with that level of with that with that speed and that severity, you got to sense something's up. Indeed, Dick, you are correct. 
someone would have noticed it. And it seems like only JJ Talks has. Hmm. Interesting. It's funny how she was the only person until until people saw her video that said that there was this mythical person who was harassing her. And then they all decided to say, Ooh, who could it be? Sequester Zone, because apparently he has some kind of history. Ooh. And, well, I think we need to have a look at these tweets that you mention. And then I think you talk about the Facebook post that she talks about. But before you quote that, I want to hear her talk about that. But first, let's take a look at these tweets. Okay, let's read the first tweet. And this is by JJ Talks, obviously. And she says, Coughlin was also says sexual harassment is okay. So, hmm. JJ, you have no evidence for that. And Dick says, here we see what is known as an outright lie. But is it a lie? That's what we're trying to get down. This is what we're trying to find out. Uh, Dick. So anyway, let's take a look at the second one. And this is a response to someone, and he says, JS, I doubt Co Coughlin would say harassment is okay. I say this as a fan of your content. And uh, JJ says, that's fine. It was only on his personal Facebook in response to my sexual harassment video in which he felt called out. And Dick says, JJ talks, massive line number two. You really love losing credibility, don't you, sweetheart? Now, JJ. Over to you. What have you got to say about this? Well, you see, I'm not surprised that he may think that because on the one hand, you've got basically your community is very paranoid about that shit and has a very wide definition of what sexual harassment is. Just staring at someone can be sexual harassment. And But on the other hand, maybe he did do something. You know, you just don't know, do you? But we don't know because he didn't give us evidence of him asking around all we have is your word hmm okay but carry on JJ or he's acknowledging straight up that he's sexually harassed somebody hmm that's a bit of a stretch don't you think JJ evidence citation needed okay step one he's asked people if it was about him um even though he's never spoken to me before. Number two, he apologized to one person and he apologized to her by telling her he's sorry she was offended. Not he's sorry that he overstepped his bounds. Not he's sorry that he knows he overstepped his bounds. He's sorry that she's offended. JJ, none of this proves your point. This is all assertion. And none of these actually prove anything that he supports or does harassment. Just because he asked or is in, or you claim that he asked around, doesn't mean that he did anything. What if he's worried that he's been taken out of context? Maybe he's worried somebody that doesn't like him is out to get him. You don't know that. And, well, he has a point. He's sorry that that good woman is offended because a vet offence is taken, not given. So, you know, he's not overstepped his bounds, he's not overstepped anything, really. He's said his point of view, she got offended, and that's her problem, not his. That's what he's basically saying. I'm sorry that you think all women should be treated as deferential goddesses, but in the real world, people get offended, and people do not get offended, and nobody cares. So you might need to learn that when you get out of university. Let's completely um, ignore the fact that she was a minor at the time. Yeah. Oh, so he disagreed with someone who was under the age of 18. Or well, 16 as it is over here, but so what? What, are you trying to imply he's some kind of pedophile just for disagreeing with someone who is a minor? Really? That's nothing. I used to disagree with my teachers when I was a minor, and they, that, that doesn't slight them, nor does it slight me for disagreeing with my elders. JJ, you, you're fast becoming a little bit full Macintosh. You might want to get back on, you know, the, the, a steady flow, a bit of a, you know, less cuckoo. Um, what else happened? Yeah, he's 
sexually harassed multiple multiple girls just in general and i'll explain this in a second and then he calls trans women trannies and he's done this to multiple of my trans friends sorry but i'm going to have to need evidence for this so-called sexual harassment it's no use just giving us an accusation and then telling us to believe it but hmm well, well we'll wait and see what you have to say about that but so what if he uses that word it offends you doesn't offend him you don't know if it offends your trans friends you've not asked you can't speak for them and female like trans women I'm, I'm trying to stay as neutral as I can, but it's just so convenient that they happen to have transitioned into women. But why? Why? He, he would call women turning to men trannies too. If he uses that word a lot. So it doesn't really say anything. And has sexually harassed them. Again, I'm going to have to ask for a citation and some evidence, JJ. An accusation is not enough, but you know, your social justice warriors, the accusation is all that is needed to declare someone guilty. I'm not just being a horrible, unneutral, biased person, because you're both social justice warriors, okay? But that's just, a, that's just a fact. It is a general observation that has been observed by professionals such as myself, scientific medical professionals such as me, as uh, appointed by Bullard Ape that you do all only need an accusation to prove someone that is guilty. At least your community does, but our community, you know, no, BA, BA is part of yours, but my community, we require evidence. And I, I can't quite fathom why he would sexually harass female trans women because, as far as I know, he's not really into them. I don't know if he's bi or pansexual or... I assume he's straight. I mean, I have no evidence, but I've never heard of him being into trans women and I've never heard of him sexually harassing them. And again, you're speaking for these people and you can't really do that because isn't that denying their lived experiences? And it's a, like a catch-22 situation here. Like, because everyone's going to sit here and go, Ugh, give me some evidence. And this is why I didn't say names in my fucking video. Because everyone here is gonna go, I need some fucking evidence. Which, you know, I get, I get it fine. But here's the thing. I cannot give you that. Because he will know who told me. And I am not gonna betray the confidence that these people have invested in me. Ever. And it sucks. Because then I can't, I can't accuse him of this shit because people are going to be like, oh, you don't have evidence. Which is so funny because all you fucking champions of feminism are like, oh, I'm so tired of MRAs asking for evidence. And you guys turn around and do the goddamn same thing. So you can protect a transphobic sexual harasser and say that he is the epitome of feminism. So what you want us to do is to listen and believe because you just have to take JJ's word for it. Well, I'm sorry, JJ, but in the real world, that's not how the law works. You can't just go around willy-nilly attacking people and accusing people of heinous crimes without evidence. Plus, you don't need to disclose these people's names. How do you know he won't find out or will find out? You can redact their names. <laughs> you can hide their faces. You've got Microsoft Paint or whatever your Apple equivalent is, if you've got a Mac, you don't need to disclose their names. You can still be trustworthy and respect them without showing their names and cough, Coughlin, if there is any evidence, will be punished. But, you see, you don't go to the police with this, you go to YouTube. So this is making me, who's trying desperately hard to be neutral here, <laughs> a little bit nonplussed, I think. I'm finding it really difficult to, you know, take you seriously. Now, I'll give you one last bit, and then I have to bring Coughlin back in, because he has something important to say. So, make it snappy, JJ. I know that's not your strong point, but, you know. <laughs> All of you men over there are like, oh yeah, he's a feminist.
this and I support him, blah, blah, blah. Well, fuck you. I'm glad that YouTube feminism is all about protecting men who want to sexually harass women in the community. Even after my video, and my camera's going slow. Hello. Um, sorry, I don't know if my camera's lagging for you guys, but it is for me. Just listen to my voice. Um, even after my sexual harassment video, besides, besides, um, what he had been doing asking people about if it was about him. He also made a Facebook post in this moment when he could have just fucking apologized to everyone that he had messaged. He had to make a Facebook post and said, you should be expected to be harassed in this community. And there is no community. And I think that's just ridiculous. And it just shows you how guilty he is. JJ, um, JJ, Again, I'm, I'm sorry, you can claim all you want, you can call these people hypocrites, which, to be fair, they probably are, but you are attacking people and accusing people on, with baseless assumptions and accusations, and that is wrong. That is wrong. They are right. What you're doing is wrong. And he hasn't really done anything, just because he asked some people that, you, well, you alleged He's alleged to have asked people. You are saying that he asked people around without any evidence. I mean, you could easily give us that evidence, right? But for some reason you have to protect your witnesses. I'm always surprised this witness begins with J and ends with S. You know? All of them, but, you know. But, you know what? Before we get into why you think he's guilty, Let's bring Coffin in, and then I think I'll uh, sum this particular bit of it because we're not we're far from dumb people up together. So let's do this. So, so several people were asking her, you know, about it because you think again, this is something if this has been said, there must be some record of it. Well, according to JJ, uh, this is something I posted on both of my Facebook accounts my main one and my personal one, right. And uh, she said, and she also, she also then said that uh, this was a response to her sexual harassment video. And I posted it because I felt called out. Now, why would I feel called out by a video about sexual harassment made by someone who I've never spoken to? I don't know. Right? And because... Because JJ is obviously very, very busy, she can't be bothered to link the comment that I made, right, that's on either one. So so, so it took me two minutes to find it because I don't have a life like her, right? And um, uh, so I found the comment that was made by her, by me, in regards that was a response to her sexual. This is the only comment uh, that's on both my accounts. And it's referencing her sexual harassment video. Now, I'm going to read this comment to you. I'll link it below as is. Right? I'm going to do it word for word. Can you please tell me where in this video I, A, say sexual harassment is okay, and B, make any reference to being, you know, anything I say suggests that I'm being called out by her. Why would you feel called out? Doesn't make any sense. So... This is where you will now read the Facebook comment and JJ, you will listen because then you're going to talk about it as well. And then we're going to discuss who was right or wrong on this particular thing. So take it away, Richard. For the viewers at home, I'm going to intersplice his Facebook comment so that you guys can read it for yourself and discuss amongst yourselves whether or not there are any mentions of... Uh, sexual harassment is okay and that he does sexually harass people. So, are you ready? Let's go. This is what I wrote. Quote, Curious watching the recent drama unfold in the so-called social justice community on YouTube involving allegations of men involved in the community allegedly sexually harassing some women. Now that doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me is the fact that so many people are surprised by this. Why? Name one group or movement who hasn't had 
people involved who claim to be one thing but turn out to be something else. Spoiler alert, there isn't one. Don't be surprised that some people attach themselves to a group or a label and then use it as a cover for some nefarious agenda. I went through a similar thing five years ago with the so-called atheist community. These communities do not exist. They are constructs of your mind and imagination and your desire to feel part of something. Do you think that your group was special or different from, uh, from any of the others? If, if, you, if you did, then that's part of the problem. We all came on YouTube as individuals, and as individuals we shall stay. In this game, you have a lot of acquaintances, but very few friends. You should cherish those and hold on to those, fr those friends, and be wary of all the others until otherwise. But it's still no excuse to chuck it in or give up. What do you care more about, your feelings or your cause? End quote. Now, if someone can please, because I've read this six times now, if someone can point out where in that fucking comment I, A, suggest for a second that sexual harassment is okay, and B, gave, said anything that suggested it was me who was being called out. Thank you, Richard. Now, JJ. First of all, on an entire internet level, I'd expect to be sexually harassed, which is fine. You know what? I can deal with it. I don't give a shit. Like, it's not right. I shouldn't have to deal with it, but I deal with it because it's internet, whatever. But in specific groups that act like they give a shit about issues involving sexual harassment, especially against women, and these people who are such champions of feminism start being the ones to sexually harass, and then... Every other guy in this feminist circle is going to start defending and protecting the person that he is sex. I mean, defect, de protecting the person that is sexually harassing these people, other people. It's just, it becomes like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up! You're not a feminist. Like. Jesus. I'm just frustrated. I guess. Because I can't show you evidence. Why? Because these are things people have shown me in confidence. And I can't betray that trust. And I won't because that's important to me. And I'm not Jenny McDermott. Um, and because I care about women and I care about the women that he's harassed because I care about harassment and I care about women and I'm a fucking feminist that is the reason I won't give you evidence because I'm not going to satisfy your need to not believe several pieces of anecdotal evidence over this man okay thank you now I've got dissect all this and work it all out. So beforehand, you, uh, JJ, kind of quoted him out of context, or at least misrepresented what he said. You said that you have to just expect sexual harassment. That you have to just accept it and, you know, just deal with it. That's not what he meant. He meant that in movements you're going to find men, although <laughs> really it's people, because you guys, you know, women are infallible in your opinions, uh, who will not be what they say they are, and they will be abusive, and they will be horrible, and you just got to expect these people, because they are everywhere. Nowhere did he mention harassment. He never mentioned if it was good, or if it was bad. He certainly ex said that you have to roll with the punches and expect people to be nasty and horrible to you on the internet which you kind of agreed with but it seems like you can't really handle it JJ because why would you make one very high profile video about it attacking someone and not telling us who they were or even telling the police and you're doing the same thing now to Dick Coughlin only now you're being open about who you're attacking and you're hiding your uh, witnesses but you say you can't really give us evidence because it's anecdotal. If it's anecdotal, then that means that the evidence that you have is worthless. Or is that just the excuse that you have? 
I think Coughlin has come across a lot better here because he has clearly shown that he is not saying that harassment is good. He's just saying you have to expect some bad apples. And your no true Scotsman of people is not helping matters. You're just increasing the fallacy count and it's not helping. And the fact that you will not disclose this evidence without disclosing people's names just further makes you look like a, a piece of shit, JJ. I'm sorry. You're looking worse. And Coughlin is looking quite absolved right now. I hope you have something better than this. But let's just get back to Coughlin for a little bit. What do you have to say after that? I believe what I'm saying there is pointing out a simple fact of reality. Right? And if you can look at that, if JJ can look at that comment made by me, which is simply stating a fact, right? if which is trying to sort of make you aware of this, saying if if you look, if you want to believe that there's no one in your group or or your little community who's got some underhanded, nefarious agenda and is just in it for themselves, then that's fucking fine. You go ahead. I'm sure you'll you'll do really well, right? I was speaking from a place of experience, trying to say to people, look, this is unfortunate. This happens, right? That's not a defense of something. And if JJ, if you can look into that comment, and I made a video that's 13 minutes long that was a, an elaboration of that. That's on my channel. If you can read into that and read that I was a being called out, and um, this is some admission of guilt, and that I or, and that I was defending sexual harassment. If that's what you see, it makes me question: What did did that? Is that the same thing that happened when you were getting sexually harassed by men on YouTube? You know, the, in the video that you mentioned. You know, for all I know, now you you just read something that they posted, and you decided. You know that they were sexually harassing you and that made and this is where that all comes from just if you consider yourself a feminist check your fucking priorities real quick and you know if this was an isolated incident that he did to one person one time you know i'd understand the evidence thing but when this is going on for years and years and it's happened to multiple people in the community I just don't feel like I know what to do because I didn't say his name one because I couldn't give you evidence because I'm not going to betray that trust and two because all of you guys after my sexual harassment video when I said some of these people are people that you guys respect and are big members of the feminist community and you were all like Oh, you when you when I'm vague about shit, you guys are like, oh, we support you so much, and um, I'm so sorry these people made you feel this way or made your friends feel this way, and this is so terrible, and they're not my friends if you sexually harass. And I guarantee you that as soon as I post this video, nothing's gonna change. No one is gonna give a shit. No one's gonna call him out on this and if it's because i can't give you evidence sorry well i have to say coughlin is kind of got a point you don't really seem to know what it is this sexual harassment you seem to think that everything that somebody says that is negative about you or your friends is sexual harassment you are believing too many people who could well be lying now, you say that this has happened for years, JJ, and there's loads of people that have been harassed by uh, Dick Coughlin and all these other people that you don't name. If there's so many of these people, how come they don't go don't band together, call the police, and get rid of these people? Look what happened to uh, Co Cosby. He, he had loads of women accused him of shit, and although he's not been arrested yet because we can't really prove anything because they've not provided evidence his career is effectively over because of the accusation alone and this is what is dangerous this is what he's trying to tell you that this accusation is not enough without evidence because this will destroy him and other people and you're basically crying wolf which is what he insinuated at the end because you're going to keep making these videos about sexual harassment which could have been a knee-jerk response to something that somebody said that you've either taken out of context or misrepresented or hell you could even have lied 
and people aren't going to believe you. That's why you are saying that these people aren't going to do shit. Well, why would people do shit if they think you're lying, JJ? If anything, it's your actions that are causing this shit in the first place. Not the harassment, but the continuation of it. Because nobody will believe you because you don't present evidence. Not even anonymous evidence. Not even certifiable evidence that he did it or that these other men did it. But I'm just a neutral here. I don't know. And now, unfortunately, this this will be used, right? And uh, you know, and this is why I didn't want. To, I wanted to put this off, but you won't shut your fucking mouth. This will be used as evidence of going. Look, see, when women women come on here, feminists they accuse men of stuff. It's all false allegations. They're just trying to destroy men. They're all sexist, misandrous bitches. He's right, JJ. You are basically giving more ammo to us anti-social justice warriors uh, to say, look, this is exactly what they're like. These people enable false accusations. They enable people like Emma Solkovitz, uh, the person from UVA, the Duke Lacrosse incident, to basically get away with false accusations, all because of their hatred of men and the fact that they want to get rid of people that they don't like. It's not just, it's not just misandry, it's also just the fact that they might not like this person and they want to get rid of them. Which JJ, it, it's looking very uh, convincing that this may be the case. What do you have to say about this? I guess, and I just, it's frustrating to me. It's a frustrating situation because I want to give you like, hmm, here's 10 fucking pages of evidence. Now you can just disown Coughlin and not have an excuse. And I can't tell whether this like, loyalty to him is genuine and you genuinely are like I really need evidence because I can't believe you over him or it's I want to believe this man over this woman because I'm closer to him and so I might as well and it it sucks but the thing is I don't have a reason to lie about Coughlin. I give zero fucks about his existence. I block him on everything. I don't give a shit. I'm sorry, but just because they're women doesn't mean that they should be believed. Innocent until proven guilty is one of the most important cornerstones of our law. Without it, we're not a free society. People can be locked away and we can be the victims of, of horrible miscarriages of justice or vigilante justice and we can't allow that what you're doing is vigilanteism and especially since you apparently can do it without any evidence because only the accusation is needed see you are using what we in anti-social justice land or scientists we like to use the term female privilege to describe things like this you're using your female privilege where your word is taken as gospel over another man's you know that people are going to believe you more than they're going to believe Coughlin just because of what's between your legs. You know this. And that's why you said that they would, the people who know him or are fans of him are more likely to believe him over a woman rather than, you know, someone who he apparently harassed. You know? It wouldn't have as much of an effect if these people were men or trans men, would it? It might have a little effect to the trans men, but nobody would care as much if it was a woman or a trans woman. And you, if, if you don't care about his existence and you've blocked him, why have you made this video? You must care enough to make the video and accuse him of this heinous shit. I'm just wondering, what else have you got to say on the matter? Because Dick's almost finished. He's almost, you know, done with this, so I need you to carry on for a little bit longer. And when someone brings him up, I just avoid it, and I don't, I don't say anything. I didn't want to antagonize this situation. Until I, someone, I tweeted something first. I did. Someone said something about Coughlin to me, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I got so mad. They're like, when it was in regards to feminism, he's like, oh, don't call and blah 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 and I'm like fuck you 
This man sexually harasses multiple people. I'm not fucking talking to him about shit about feminism. Seriously? And then, of course, Beach came to Coughlin's rescue. Fucking turf of the century. Oh, it's just... It's just... I don't know what to do. Because I don't have a reason to lie about Coughlin. I don't. Because I really liked him. And I gave his channel multiple chances. And I gave him multiple chances. Um... At one point, he added me back on Facebook, and I was like, okay, let's... I thought he was going to message me and, like, have a conversation with me, and then he didn't. And so I was like, okay, whatever, I'm going to delete you again, because I'm not here for this. You claim to not have a reason to lie about him, but it's clear you hate him for some reason. Because you think that he harassed someone. So, that could be a reason that you're lying, because, again, what can that... If you don't have any evidence, I can assume that you're lying. And I know, I often say that what can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. But, there you go. You, I can easily say you're lying. Which I think, judging by your record, that, yeah, you kind of are. I, I could be wrong. You've got to prove me wrong on this. And you, you're calling this beach person a turf. And you're saying that Dick Coughlin does all these things and he's fanboy and you don't care about him yet strangely he added you back on facebook but didn't talk to you you know as and so you deleted him that suggests more things about you than it does about him that you're not very nice and that maybe he just forgot to talk to you or maybe he thought oh i've not added her on facebook so i'll add her you don't know you don't know you're looking worse off here than him but i'll give you one more go and then it's Coughlin's last turn. So now you fucking know who one of the people is that has been sexually harassing women in the community. And I'm so fucking glad that all you feminists, you male feminists, give so much of a fuck about the women in your women-loving community. Really appreciate it says a lot and if thunderfoot watches this video because thunderfoot made a video about this last time about my last sexual harassment video thunderfoot can you just fucking understand that i am handing on you a silver platter dick coughlin and male youtube feminists here you go have them and i just like he made a video attacking me last time and i'm like dude i'm like handing you the best like, shit to use against the SJWs. Here you go. Use it, friend. Explain that, because unlike you, uh, Thunderfoot knows what the bullshit is when he sees it. And I'm afraid that the reason he criticised you is because he requires facts and evidence in order to make a reasoned judgement and to make a video. Plus, he just loved the drama that went on. And he saw it as infighting because you were stirring up trouble and this was spreading across the whole ranks and people were like making videos and shit and you were doing nothing but watching the carnage unfold around sequester zone and didn't help him you didn't say oh no this wasn't him because you have to be confidential why are you being confidential over an innocent man he didn't do anything it took jenny mcdermott of all people to leak who it actually was before you acted and you hate her for that did you just hate Sequester Zone? It seems like you just hate male feminists. And you're right, half of male, well not half, but a certain type of male feminist certainly is in it for the pussy. And are certainly horrible people. But you're just as bad as them by crying wolf and accusing them. Or at least other male feminists who maybe not like them of the shit that they do. You, you, you seem to have this dislike of male feminists. And this is why we attack you rather than these guys, because you are the ones who are giving us the material, not them. They don't give you the material to pass on to us. You are giving us the material because you encapsulate exactly what Dick Coughlin said. You're giving us what we want. You are the person who is the misandrist, who enables false rape accusations, false harassment accusations. 
and you are the one who does the most damage to your community than these people. You could just call the police and we would never know this had ever happened. Or we would have found out later on there'd be nothing we could do. It would be a non-issue at that point. We wouldn't be able to use it in our arguments. Well done, JJ. Well done. And you know what? When that happens, it's on you. It ain't on me. Because if you've kept your fucking mouth shut, if you would have thought before you go around making accusations at people, then maybe I wouldn't have to be sat here now exposing you for the moron that you are. He's right. He has exposed you for a moron because you do nothing but cry wolf. You do nothing but cause trouble. You have done nothing to help feminism despite what you claim. And these false accusations are doing nothing but damage. Sorry, JJ. It's the truth. The end, I guess. I just don't know what else to say. I don't have a reason to lie. Sorry I can't give you evidence, but it's happened a lot, and I feel like if you are actively involved in the community, you would have had conversations that people with people he has harassed, and they might open up to you. I can't just take your word on it. I can't take your word on it. How can we take your, your word on it? It's, it? it's just... That's ludicrous, JJ. That's ludicrous. You've proven nothing. Proven. Nothing. You are you are pretty much losing this debate with uh, a Coughlin. This therapy isn't working for you, but it's certainly working for Coughlin. He's this whole uh, who did who did what who done it thing. It's a uh, <laughs> it's been quite eye opening. Right. So Richard the Dick Coughlin, Dick Dynasty six six six. Good night. May God be less. And think before you fucking speak. Yes. Think before you speak because you are sowing even more disorder and chaos in your community's ranks. Not as much as Laughing Witch, but you are contributing to that. Jenny's meltdown to you as well has caused all of that, JJ. Fighting your own people doesn't solve anything. Our side, I've seen this so many times, when we fight each other, it solves nothing. When we work together, we get things done, but you guys, it's too late for you. You don't know anything. But I I know you have a few more things to say, uh, JJ, and then we'll have our conclusion. But no, you put the men first. Um, so that's why I just feel disassociated with YouTube feminism. The end. Ah. What was that noise? why you put that at the end of your video but oh well anyway it's not about putting men first which funnily enough says a hell of a lot about your movement you claim to be for everyone you claim to be for men and women but here you are saying that we should put women first above men it's not about men or women it's about people about everyone accusations hurt people not just women not just men everyone and I don't think you understand that. It's because you're a regressive, progressive social justice warrior. So, <laughs> you don't understand that, JJ. You can say, oh, I can't give you evidence, blah, blah, blah. But you just can't. What you said there was just <laughs> indefensible. All right, you two. I have now made my decision. People, listen. At home, I've, I'm telling you now, this is the decision. Dick Coughlin is in the right. I'm sorry, JJ, but... You've proven nothing, you have caused trouble, you have cried wolf, you are suffering from what we professionals, as I said before, is called acute female privilege, where you use your gender and societal norms and feelings to attack people that you do not like, usually men. You have a distinct dislike of feminist men, even though you think that you know you say that Steve Shives is your best friend, we all know that you probably would think as of low of him as you do of Dick if he said one thing out of line. Dick, I disagree with you on everything but the fact that there is no God and we might, we might both be lefties. I don't know what you think about left the left, but oh well, that's not for me to, to discuss here. 
but you have definitely been wronged. You have been the victim of uh, JJ's uh, horrible, scurrilous remarks, and I think your community would be better off without people like her. Because remember, the boy who cried wolf. But you seem to know what's going on, and you, you have backed your uh, claims with evidence. You have defended yourself very well, and yes, that is, uh, that is right. Okay, people, look. You could probably tell what I was doing from a mile away. This is me basically calling out JJ. Okay? JJ? You can't go around spreading false accusations of people willy-nilly because it's harmful. You are literally like a little kid. I know you may be 19 going on 20, but you're an adult. You are a woman. You shouldn't be doing this. This is what horrible cunts do. Are you a horrible cunt? I'll let you decide that. I'll let you think about that. But until then, people, I'll see you later.